Hi everyone, welcome again to the Open Door Kids Work. So good to see you. So we're still on our series of things that you should know about yourself because you are a child of God. We've talked about you should know that you are loved. We talked about a treasure last week. This week we ha- we're talking about you should know that you are forgiven. There is nothing you can ever do that would take you away from God's love. You are always forgiven. He always welcomes you back. Miss Emma Louise is going to tell us a story about someone who was really, really naughty. Like he actually was making life very hard for people who love God. And then, do you know what? God forgave him. Yeah. So listen to the story and learn. Learn that you are always loved and, and there's no one that God can't forgive and welcome him into his kingdom. All right, then enjoy and I'll see you next week. Bye. During lockdown, a lot of us can feel isolated and alone. And sometimes we just think it's a a drudge to go through. But um, this song is called There is a God who knows your name. And he's there shouting out and calling for you. So it doesn't matter how you feel. He is there. And he loves you. There is a God. There is a God who knows your name. There is a God who feels your pain. There is a love holding out to you. Don't turn away. Let him love you. There is a God your name. There is a God who feels your pain. There is a love holding out for you. Don't turn away. Let him love you. He loves you with a passion. An endless raging fire from eternity to eternity. You are his heart's desire. And if you could for a moment glimpse the hugeness of his heart, you'll see how he simply loves you. He loves you with a passion, he's always on your side, like a mighty grave that never stops, his love is ocean wide, he is higher than the heavens above, and deeper than the sea, truth is, just this, he simply loves you. When you feel you've fallen far too far to ever stand again And you can't believe this holy God can ever be your friend He is shouting from the heavens above, he's here to help you through You'll see how he simply loves you
Jesus showed his love to us and we need to show our love to everyone else. This is a song, May Your Love In Me. May your love in me light a flame within my heart. Let it shine to the world, holy fire. Let that flame start to grow, let it spread to all I know, heart to heart, house to house, holy fire. Where there's wounded hearts and uncertainty, may your love reach out healing power, and in the dark darkest night shine the brightest day let your sun shine shine through me let your sun shine shine through me may your love in me light a flame within my heart let it shine to the world, holy fire. Let the flame start to grow. Let it spread to all I know. Heart to heart, house to house, holy fire. Bringing hope and peace and security. Bringing Father's love with His smile To be truly loved To feel His arms so tight Let your sun shine Shine through me Let your sun shine Shine through me
Morning kids! Today we are looking at a story from the Bible which is named Paul Saul's Conversion. We can find this in Acts chapter 9. Now I'm going to be reading 1 to 19 from the NLV version. But you can ask your grown-ups to help you read whichever Bible you have. So, Saul wasn't being very nice. He was saying mean things to people and he wasn't treating the Lord's followers very well. He went to the high priest. He asked letters to be addressed to the synagogues in Damascus asking for the, their cooperation in the arrest of any followers of the way. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem. As he was approaching Damascus on this mission to not be very nice to Christians, a light from heaven suddenly shone down around him he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. And the voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men with Saul stood speechless, for they heard the sound of someone's voice, but saw no one. Saul picked himself up off the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he was blind. He couldn't see anything. So his companions led him by the hand to Damascus. He remained, remained there blind for three days and didn't eat anything or drink anything. Now, there was a believer in Damascus named Anani. Us. The Lord spoke to him in a vision, calling Ananias. Yes, Lord, he replied. The Lord said, go over to Straight Street, to the house of Judas. When you get there, ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is praying to me right now. I have shown him a vision of a man named Ananias coming in and laying hands on him so he can see again. But Lord, exclaimed Ananias, I've heard many people talk about the terrible things this man has done to the believers in Jerusalem. And he is allowed by the leading priests to arrest anybody and everybody who calls upon your name. But the Lord said, Go, for Saul is my chosen instrument to take my message to the Gentiles and to kings, as well as to the people of Israel, and I will show him how much he must suffer for my name's sake. So Ananias went and found Saul. He laid his hands on him and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road, has sent me so that you might regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Instantly, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he regained his sight. Then he got up and was baptised. Afterwards, he ate some food and regained his strength. Wow! He, Saul did some very nasty things to people but he was still forgiven the Lord still forgave him and that's what we're looking at today we're looking at you are forgiven and if Saul can be forgiven then I think so can we if we go to the Lord in prayer and just say Lord I'm sorry for all of these things that I've done the Lord will forgive us.